Welcome. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, uh, just look at those photos. <laughs> uh, my name is Polly. You're on the Latino Slant channel, and the show is Movies to Lose Your Friends By. And we got some uh, we got some uh, some winners this week. Uh, but before I talk even further, uh, let me bring in my awesome co-host, the man, the the uh, the woolly person, thing, <laughs> thing, them, it, from the north, Yeti cast, hail. You know, I, I prefer mythical creature. That Ooh. that's yeah, not not thing that. You know that <laughs> Adam's family. We don't like him. He's he's kind of rejected. <laughs> he's he's the cousin that no one wants. Yeah, yeah. Right he, on, he's, man. He he's got big meth problems, so you know we kind of stay away. <laughs> Binche thing, it, um, and thing, and them. Um, how how have you been, dude? How was your how was your week? Oh, it was it was good, except for these movies. <laughs> Right? Oh, right. I had to, I had so, but to watch. Wait, but you picked these, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I think I picked them because we had we had a conversation about it. Yeah. And yeah, they, they might have been from me. I know they're on a list. Yeah. Uh, so there's a big list I was looking through. I was like, mm, OK, well, yeah. go, keep, people keep talking about Ghost of Mars and Monster yeah. Hunter was recent. So, you know. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, you know, um, it's so the movies are Monster Hunter that just came out with uh, with uh, Mila Jovovich and uh, from a movie from about twenty years ago, Ghost of Ghost of Mars, Ghost on Mars, Ghosts of Mars, I believe, <laughs> of Go. course, with uh, another model, Natasha Henstridge. So, um. Very interesting choices this week. Oh. Um, but uh, before we bring on our, our, our uh, special guest our pan on our panel, let's say hello, Yeti, to some people in the chat, man. Um, Absolutely. And then we'll bring him in. So, Captain Trek, what's up, brother? So, Lord Thoth saw this last week because we were supposed to do the show last week, yes. but I postponed it. <laughs> yeah. I postponed it. Uh, T-shirted historian. I hear he's part of the... Uh, culture minefield right no uh he's just friends have been uh, has been uh, was on his show last night has been on uh gotcha. the raiders of the lost art show um, oh, okay. and he's gotcha. also latino from from orale. right here orale. Yeah. Orale. well welcome welcome to the latino slant and to our uh weekly saturday uh movie show uh steven otten hello steven theme park casual is here hola hola slantinos so 
Slantinos, for, for all you new people, you don't have to be a Latino to be a Slantino. So everyone's <laughs> a Slantino. <laughs> uh, my, speaking of, my cousin Uriel, one of my trusted wrenches is here. Hail. And uh, I think that's that's it. Yeah. As far as people um, commenting into anyone out just hanging out, lurking and, and twerking, please take the link. Please share it. Let people know that we're going to be talking uh, uh, talking some mad shit for the next hour or so. <laughs> and smash that like button. Smash it hard. Smash it. <laughs> All right. Well, you want to introduce the guest uh, that's that's waiting? Yes, we have Gary from Pop Culture Minefield. He's been working in the comic industry for a long time. <laughs> He's like a legend. He's, he's done work on, on things from like Alan Wake to, uh, oh, what, what was one of the... I love it when of, he just takes forever to just talk about what I do. Thanks, Yeti. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> welcome, man. I, I'm trying to think of like the good one because my favorite ones. I worked I, on the A team. I worked on. Um, <laughs> I worked for IDW doing uh, comic trailers uh, for Transformers, shit like that. I've got uh, several graphic novels I've done, including one bestseller for IDW called Code Word Geronimo, the taking down of Bin Laden, um, written by uh, my regular boss Dale Dye and his wife uh, um, Julia. So Dale Dye is the guy behind Private Ryan and all that shit. Well, we're happy you're here and happy everyone's here in the chat. Before we, you know, continue this conversation, I want to say uh, with the slant, we've got a, an upswell of new people all about uh, as far as subscribing. And many of them have come from the fluffy video we put up. I mean, a lot. And we're going to be doing a special, uh, me and Yeti are going to do a special show tomorrow afternoon. We'll, oh, cool. We'll send all that out, info out. I, we're basically going to read people's comments because it's it's like they're like rising up saying you will not call, you will not cancer you will not cancer you are a cancer <laughs> you will not you will not cancel Speedy Gonzalez yes so uh, amen so, to yeah. that yeah <laughs> oh it's ridiculous it, yeah. especially when you know I talked to Polly about it he's it, you know, he tells me I I already knew he was a beloved character, but I didn't realize how how deep those roots went in in the Latino culture. Like they when they we were kids, him. dude, in Phoenix, growing up, uh, a, a bulk of my my best friends were were um, Hispanic, mm -hmm. and we played Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah, you know, you'd always hear somebody andale andale arriba, you know, and yeah, fucking crazy stuff. Yeah, they love it. Yeah, nobody was offended. They they embrace it. They like him. Oh, this is going to backfire well, so hard. Well, he's a hard. hero. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fucking goofy. They're well, so fucking goofy. It's goofy. It's bizarre. It is uh, unfounded. It's stupid. And, uh, you know, you mess with the wrong community. You know, you got to, you got to, I mean, I can't wait to read some of these comments. Yeah. I'm just like, damn. <laughs> well, I, I just don't Amen. understand yeah. what the reason is behind it. It's sorry that it's yeah. so it's off topic. The whole, but... It's <laughs> whole, it's the whole Mel Mel Blank was Jewish. I'm sure plays into it. Not Mexican doing the voice, uh, and it was a bunch of um, white guys that created it. I guarantee oh, you, man. that's it. Well, I think at the core, that's it with uh, with the uh, New York Times columnist, you know, uh, Charles uh, oh, Blow. Yeah. Charles Blow. I think at the core, that's what he is going after. Let's tear it all down. And I'm sorry, I, that ain't going to happen. Um, you know, um, you know, yeah, I mean, and beside, besides the fact that, that, uh, that Mel Blanc and Fritz and all these people were just amazing creators and performers, it's, it's evolved to where Latinos have been voicing speedy for decades. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and Uriel says, Hey, old fellow Fink, Fien, Fien, Fien. I know that's like a Phoenix thing. So that's that's to you, yeah, whoever Phoenix whoever thing. says they're from Phoenix. Oh, that's me. Okay, yeah, yeah Uriel, Uriel lives there as well. Yay, Phoenix! Uh, I was on, uh, grew up on Eleventh, and um, oh shit, my brain just broke. Um, <laughs> uh, one of the main streets. Oh, I just forgot that my daughter just moved back from Phoenix, uh, which made me happy. Cool. Cool. Well, we're up I, have in Missouri. Lot, I have a lot of cousins over there, so 
Uh, it's all good. Why um, am I not surprised? <laughs> yeah, we got cousins all over the place. Um, so I guess we'll just we'll just begin, and then uh, if uh, if and when um, uh, Orbs Boards joins us, which will be great, we you know we'll just continue the party. Um, let's go with uh, let's go with Monster Hunter. Sure. And uh, I actually found the Chinese trailer. We'll play a little bit of it. It's the official Chinese trailer. So I was like, okay, well, let's see what let's see what they're catering towards China. <laughs> let's let's play a little bit of it. Oh wait, this is a uh, an ad. We'll let it play. Mm -mm -mm. Let me know if you guys can see it. Yeah, I can see it. It's just dizzying. Okay, yeah. here we go. Let's see fly here. Remnants of ancient civilization. Guard their technology with the most fearsome of creatures. Now, you ready? Any second now. They make the trailer look so much better than the movie. <laughs> that so, happens so often. So, first take. We who we did not like the film or what? Oh, oh yeah. I I made fun of it while we were watching it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could not, I could not handle this. There was, there was so much that was just tearing me apart while watching. Okay, all right. That's the great Tony Jaw, who is so underutilized in this. Yeah, just it's like why they even bother having him. Absolutely. Kill a monster, you need a monster. Um, Tony Joff, uh, for our audiences, if you don't know who he is or know who he is, uh, his claim to fame is, you know, what made him, took him over was, uh, the first Onbok movie. Which is fantastic. Yeah. His, he does all his, his own action stunts. scenes and stunts were just amazing yeah. in that. At one point they set his, you know, his legs are on fire. So they really set his legs on fire and each scene he had to, uh, he had to jump into water to get to put it out but if the take wasn't good enough they had to do it all over again and set them back on fire just to get this to work to get the right shot lord thoth says after watching monster hunter i owe my wife two romantic comedies <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, i'd say you owe her more than that yeah <laughs> okay all right <laughs> let's go on yeah bro yes sir yeah bro <laughs> I loved him. I loved him in this movie. I loved Tony in this well, movie. Well, he had some great moments in it. And the film, mm -hmm. like so many bad films, have great moments in them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Tony J is always enjoyable to watch, no matter what he's in. And there were some good effects. It, like, so, some very confusing effects, too. Well, at the beginning of the movie, I was confused because I was like, all right, this is either really bad water that they're riding their boat through then i figured it out that it was sand i'm like okay because it looked like shit at first <laughs> yeah the, the, and ron oh, perlman looked like uh what was it uh steven seagal said fat steven seagal said uh uh gary Busey on drugs oh my god so That's gary funny. Busey. <laughs> yeah he said funny. he looked like gary Busey on drugs next time your face <laughs> Okay, there was no rock and roll song during the movie. I just no. wanted to know. No. Yeah. <laughs> now that is one thing that was amazing to watch was the monsters. Well, some okay. Th this is one of the things I had issues with because because that one mm -hmm. was really well done up close, but the mm -hmm. other one, um, I think the the other one's called the uh, Diablo, something like that. That one was really done far away, but as soon as you got up close, it just looked like a mess. And this one here, up close, it looked fantastic, but farther away, it looks so much worse. It really? Was, I, I thought that was. I thought this looked great. Okay, from from this shot, like from <laughs> this particular shot. The well, that's other, in the movie, Yeti Cast. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but th there's a whole bunch of other shots with this thing flying yeah. around, and it looks it looks like a mess. But I think they wasted their entire budget on this guy, on this dragon or wyvern or, you know, whatever it's supposed to be. I think they blew most of their budget on this thing. Okay, so the premise is 
that uh, Mila Mila runs a, a a ranger outfit, right? She's a lieutenant. Oh, it's terrible though. And <laughs> well, 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 let's just talk the story. <laughs> and then then she get they get caught up in some like time warp wormhole and they end up in the land of, of monsters here which, which to- is never actually explained and then tony jaw like you know like helps her out oh you know what we're joined by uh words board so uh hail what's up I, buddy d- yo what up hey. they did tony jaw wrong that's all i'm saying yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's already you're already you're already slinging it what's up man <laughs> not much man uh Sorry, I am late. I truly apologize. My family life is insane, uh, but I'm here now, so the world is right. Okay, is everything you, you're good? We're good. We're good. Okay. We're, yeah, All we're right. good. Yeah, no, no worries on our end. I was just going, just breaking down the story really quick of of Monster Hunter, and then um, Mila's, you know, saved by Tony Jaw a few times, and then they they start going after the big antenna, the big tower. That's where I guess. She, you know, the wormhole, and she'll get back into her own time. They run into all kinds of uh, mayhem, and Ron Perlman's reunited with Tony Jaw. This is major spoilers, guys, but not really. Um, and then uh, Ron Perlman's like, "You, you gotta come with us," or something like that. He says, "You know, we gotta, we gotta fight as a team," and they go fight as a team, and it's a shitty team because the whole team gets kind of like jacked up. And then uh, she gets wormholed, and. <laughs> And she's back in, in uh, in our world, um, but so is the dragon. It, and, okay, so the, there's yeah. so so much in there that, yeah, y- you know, it's it sounds, the plot sounds disjointed, but that's because it is. There, there's no real explanation for uh-huh. any of the reasons. Like the, the the movie opens with this boat that's surfing on sand, and then it cuts yeah. to to Mila that's some you know a, a ranger a military outfit mm-hmm. that's driving in the desert and then mm-hmm. some storm comes by at they're still in a desert but a different one and you never really know why any of this stuff occurred mm-hmm. nothing is set up for where they need to go why they need to go there it's yeah. or, or or how anything worked yeah you know you could probably make this very interesting if you set up some stakes and were allowed to, I don't know, uh, allowed to understand some of the workings of of why the monsters are dangerous, why mm-hmm. that w- teleportation thing works, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Other uh, than that, other than that, there were markers and they had shit on them. Yeah, right. because other that's than, it, other than that, it was ancient. Right? Yeah, uh, uh, let's watch but, a little bit more of this. Let's do this. Hmm? Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> what is that? That's the Chinese. Oh, there's the they guy show the cat. Yes. Magical. Wow. I love the cat. Okay, <laughs> what's wrong with me, guys? I really like this movie. Oh, where do I even begin? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, I, I say it in many of my film reviews that uh, liking something doesn't mean it's good. Uh, a lot of people have <laughs> zero knowledge of s- story structure. They don't oh, understand Oh, thank how you. It, yeah, they just <laughs> yeah. people. Yeah, it comes on my show and me. To be fair. I just say this shit to my closest friends. I don't know <laughs> who you it's are. Like, <laughs> I have a close friend that walked up and says, well, I fucking like that movie. I'm like going. You got shit for taste. It's okay. <laughs> in, in Paula's defense, though, I really like the uh, the live action Super Mario movie, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. You know, uh, and Stephen Otten says, you know, I've been I've been down down in the dumps of late. And I'm sorry about that, and didn't mind a bad monster movie. I understand why uh, MH is yeah, hated. Yeah, the first part of that statement's totally. Yeah, I get that. The yeah. la- second half of that statement, it, it's like that's it's not an answer. I mean, this was was this is based off the game series, right? That's what this yes. was. Yeah, uh, right. I, yeah, I just like Monster Hunter games are not my thing, and like honestly, okay. I wasn't too invested in this story. Um, I, I what do, like, story? Yeah, well, right, that's what I'm saying. There, you know, it was just nothing Bunch to really. Ke- <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, man. I, monster movies are great. Like, it's great to have like uh, you know a couple hours, hour and a half to just like drown out, even if it's a bad movie. 
Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, like, I don't know. I Like I said, when I first came in here, man, it did Tony wrong, man. Like, he's got so much more potential than, than that. I mean, and he speaks English. Like, why is he not, like, having dialogue in this? I was so pissed at what they did to Jack. Because, th- I mean, the editing on the, the, the cuts, the quick cuts mm. and the fight oh, scenes yeah. totally betrayed his skill. Yeah. Yes. That was okay. that was one of the things I was I found. Oh, I remember you pissing and moaning about that when we watched it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think for me because I, I heard it so bad that I actually had a good time. So you know, you oh, know, it's I, a fun film. Actually, we but all now had fun it's like it. you yeah. guys are deconstructing it for me. It's like, yeah, you know, well, not to mention the fact that you know that she even like stood stood up to Tony John in the fight scenes. I'm like, yeah. Right. Well, the goofy part of it is um, it was it was clear that he did not have ill intentions towards her and her team. Yeah. And they knew that. So all of a sudden they're adversarial with each other and it made no fucking sense. Right. Because she knew it because she like was like, wait a minute. It's only Paul. don't shoot at him. You know, whatever. <laughs> and then, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's right. what happens when you have an idiot writing a script. And then uh, let's talk about uh, the. The, the her ranger commandos you had uh oh. megan good and you had uh ti the great the great actor rapper and you, <laughs> and they apparently else? had no ta- tactical advisor on that film because they were doing shit no ranger would ever fucking do not one and that's my specialty is military stuff i i i'm a veteran and I work in military advisor stuff, and I'm a military historian, and that fucking shit just drove me crazy watching that. <laughs> like, why is this even in the film? It was dumb, plot-wise. Well, they were also like the worst rangers. <laughs> yeah, they were terrible. You know? Uh, yeah. d- so you got a major haboob coming in. Let's leave those windows open. So I close that hatch. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I secure the vehicle. <laughs> but, uh... The that that was kind of cool though how uh how how Ti went out he had all those spider bubbles underneath him and they popped oh that out. was so gross yeah that was that was I like that that was pretty cool hey you, got something here would you look at it <laughs> he's like oh, oh. my my big issue with that right there was uh-huh. that they didn't set it up uh, in order for you to care that he was he was getting killed. You, mm-hmm. you know, they, they didn't show any camaraderie. Uh, th- there's very little dialogue between the Rangers. And y- you can set that up in, in five minutes, having sh- showing how they work together and, and trying to develop a little bit of character. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I mean, the movie Up, that'll make you cry in the first five minutes of the film. Mm-hmm. But in this... Mm-hmm. The guy, Don't bring it up, man. I have emotional scars from that movie, bro. Come I, on, thanks. Yeah, but five minutes, and they make you care. <laughs> they make you weep. Yeah. And, and yep. this thing, you're going, I don't know, half so an this, hour in. This and, thing had two writers. Wow. <laughs> yeah, who's the director on that one? Uh, Paul West Anderson. W.S. Anderson. Oh, okay, yeah. all right, I see, I see, yeah. Mr. Mila Jovovich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I was saying. Is this thing Mary? Yeah. yeah. She, it's yeah. like she says, I need to make a movie. Right. And he goes, okay, what do you want to make? this one and then he goes okay i'll get the rights right yeah 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 you, you still giving me sex <laughs> yeah him. you got you gotta wonder if it's her though like she's the one saying like you're gonna direct this movie and put me in it i want to be a soldier in it oh yeah i like i like that first resident evil movie that wasn't bad the that first was no, that was a good film yeah. i enjoyed the shit out of that yeah i'm trying to find and, a photo. Oh, what is it uh megan good Megan Good is so foxy, and then so what a waste. The space one, <laughs> so stupid in this movie. Uh, Deep Horizon, oh, there or it is. Event Event Horizon. Event Horizon. That was a good one too. And yeah, then it went good. to all this stuff. Like, I don't know what happened to him. I mean, you got you got to remember this is a game based or a movie based off of a game, and those hardly ever do well. I mean, there's maybe two or three that I know of that I actually like enjoyed and they weren't like great movies, mm-hmm. uh, but you know, they were video game movies that were enough to enjoy it. And yeah, there's a lot of bad ones out there, but they always, I think hacks. that Yui bowl would have done a better job. Oh, with it. <laughs> <laughs> that is... don't like it. Let's fight. <laughs> Man, and then she gets this, uh, <laughs> I I, I, I kind of missed where she got all the armor at, all the ancient armor. I know she the got the hand cool. on the, the boats. They kept cool. finding all these destroyed oh, ships, right. and all this that's stuff right. was on there. And it's like, well, that's convenient, right? Right, and that's yeah. 
that the, that that hand thing where you know the that was really cool. Oh yeah, the, the weapons are cool. Uh, like this guy right here is cool. Uh, although, um, go back to that last photo. Sure. If you could, yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of like cosplayers, like <laughs> at a convention, <laughs> yeah. sort of. Like I like the idea behind the weapons. I think it's really cool. Like you know, the ancient funny. stuff and the powers, right. and, and it's cool. But right. like right here, if you're looking at the way that arm, the arm band is attached and everything, I mean, it just looks like somebody cosplaying. Right. Something like I have. Right, 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 right. And That's I loved funny. how she mastered the weapons like instantly. Oh, instantly. God. Well, she messed up once, but then he like you know told her how to work it. Well, now that's, they were that's stuck. Cool. They were yeah, stuck on that dope. rock island for half the film, so it really yeah. it, it didn't set up. It didn't yeah. set up anything for for the character motivation. It was no, and, and instead home. they threw in a classic '80s montage, yeah, mm. of her learning the weapons. Just gonna have a montage. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Montage. Like again, the weapons are montage, cool looking here, but it yeah. looks like something constructed by a cosplayer. <laughs> I like the weapons, and this would be a cool thing to see at a con. But like, I, I don't know, man. It's just yeah. not. Well, I like the signature. You know, it was a, it's like a dragon killer uh, sword here with the teeth. It, it looks cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, my my biggest issue is there's so much that could have worked if they put it in the right order and set up a reason why they needed to to get where they were going. But mm -hmm. nothing is set up. They they're just dropped on that rock, and it's like, okay, we got to leave. Once they finally do, they're they're in, uh, they're by a pond, and then Ron Perlman walks up and says hi, and then for some reason punches her out. Like they're <laughs> suddenly enemies. Oh, she wakes friends. back up in a cage, and then she's yeah. out, and they're talking friendly. It it, <laughs> it doesn't make I, any sense. Yeah, I guess I really suspended disbelief on this one really quickly because I well, was you like, have to check your hat at the door. You yeah. you have to going into these. My problem is. Uh, I, I'm I'm in my late fifties, and so when I have to watch a movie like this with my friends, when they go, "We need to watch this," right, Yeti? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I get aggravated. It's like this is not yeah. a movie that I would watch, but I will fucking watch it because you want to watch it. Yeah, like and there was so, that there was that picture you showed with the rain and everything. It was like Tony Jaa's character was in there. Um, that actually looks really cool. Like I think yeah, this yeah. looks great. Like. I think with a little more darker tones in this movie, I feel like it would have worked better with like the armor and everything. Um, mm -hmm. the, those moments like this in the movie are, are 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 good, and like that, he looks like a total badass there. So yeah. it's there's well, not then, it's not yeah. everything bad about this movie. There's some good stuff. No, there's good stuff, and here's what where they really made a mistake, and this goes back to to Tony Jai. Um, they needed more Tony Jai time. They, sure they needed did. to yes. show him yeah. doing yeah. what he does. Uh, yeah. They should have had him fighting uh, creatures. And showing his skills, not doing quick cuts, but instead, no slow motion, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. show the action. Uh, his combat time is some of the best stuff you'll ever see on film. I know. Uh, mm -hmm. Because his accuracy is really pinpoint. Yeah. Uh, and so we wanted to see that. And of course, again, like we said earlier, they wasted him being in the film. And yeah. I know, I know, you know, it's easier to do CGI with certain things, but like, uh, use Jurassic Park as an example, the original Jurassic Park, that blend of like practical and CGI. Yeah. If we could have got some cool close ups of this dragon in this movie, maybe like a practical looking thing, like it would have felt a little more real. You know, there's, there's ways you can do it. I mean, hell, I mean, if you guys seen Happy Time Murders, uh, that's a beautiful example mm. of like using CGI to enhance the practical effects and not, uh, take away from it. Exactly, yeah. Like yeah, they I'm did with, with the uh, Thing prequel in 2011. And, yeah, it makes it scarier too. If you've got something up close that like, looks tangible, touchable, like it's gonna—I mean, it's a monster movie. It's gonna put you in, into it a little bit more wholeheartedly. Yeah, there, there was there was so much in this that you could like, and if you arrange the pieces properly, we would have a very different discussion. It, it, I don't even think it would take that much in order mm -hmm. to to draw out nah. the story, the set pieces, what they had, what what they had there. I think you could put that together. It, it's just you need to make changes on on why there is this lost tribe, why they need to get to these these ruins. That I don't think anybody ever explained why they were going there. It just they need to get to ruins, out. Brian. Ruins. Apparently, it uh. It only made twenty eight million so far worldwide, and uh, cost sixty oh. million. 
Wow. Yeah, Wes, Wes Anderson's going to take a, a bath for this, man. Well, I see it on the shelves at the store. Huh. huh. Well, it, Paul it was only W. Released, Anderson, sorry. Paul W. Yeah. Yeah, because it was, it was released in, in December. So they didn't have, there's no movie theaters open. It was all you know, direct to, to video, video on demand. And here's my problem yeah. with the studio system. We've talked about this on multiple shows, including Midnight's Edge. That um, speaking of the he studios, just <laughs> yeah, uh, studios um, are really borderline criminal in the way that they report their uh, box office because they don't intermix their video on demand and uh, DVD and Blu ray sales, and mm -hmm. they should that should be included in there as part of their uh, gross, not their net. Yeah, and um, and this is where they uh, screw over a lot of people who are getting a percentage of the overall box office. And that's why they don't do it, but they need to do it and they need to be forced to do it because I bet you this film actually made its money back in video on demand. Yeah. You think? It, really? Well, you think? Yeah. Along okay. with what it made. Yeah. I think it did. All um, right. So I think we it at a... least made its um, basic budget. Yeah. All right. So we have a uh, best uh, uh, out of five here. Correct. Yeti. Or is best out of four. Sorry, uh, best out of five or four. Our, our uh, rating our, system, dude. Oh, our rating system. <laughs> I, I don't think we've ever Sorry, had. Yeah, she was, she was oh. a little too much time sleeping in the cave this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, well, there, there. Okay, there is all. There is, there is a. Uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll we'll get to we'll get to the the final ratings as far. Yeah, as the, that's the rating right. system I remember. Uh, I, I got don't think confused we ever actually... with my uh, with my other with my watch party. Um, oh, it's, okay. it's, it's still it's still Yeti Cast's fault. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's still my fault. fault. Oh, um, damn it, Yeti Cast! <laughs> all right, why don't you run? Uh, you run the lead on this next one, uh, Yeti Cast. Uh, I'm excited for this one. <laughs> oh, Ghosts of Mars. Yeah. Oh intense. my god! Intense. Where, That's all I can say. I actually I, lost a friend over this movie. What? <laughs> Ooh, because you said it was what? what oh, uh, we got to hear that. We'll get there. Yeah. Uh, bring us in, Yeti. Bring us in. What's this movie Can, about? Go Samar. Uh, you know, I watched the movie a couple times because I kept getting lost. Like I was one, I was bored, and, and two, I'd <laughs> look down at something. And, the whole movie would would jump off like okay where did this go so i had to watch it a couple times in order to figure it out but but basically at the start of the movie there's this group of of police uh the mars police and mars is being terraformed and it's 85 percent done and they've got mining colonies all over the place and you have this police force that is supposed to go pick up a violent cr criminal to stand trial mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're picking him up because they found him with, you know, a whole bunch of uh, dead bodies that were decapitated and mm -hmm. kind of mutilated. So that, many dead bodies. Yeah, that, that kind of sets up that. And once they get there, uh, like most of these movies, things start going wrong. And, and that's kind of your basic setup. What, what uh, they dis uh, Sorry, go ahead. And well, you you uh, you you did mention that it was uh, it's a matrial it's a matriarchy. Hello. Yeah. No. No. I, I'm trying to remember. I don't even remember anything yeah. being when mentioned they, about <laughs> at, at the beginning when they say it's 85 percent terraform and then they say like what kind of government it said matriarchal. Yeah. Yeah. I would say I think uh, there was a an older woman at the head of uh, that when she like meets with yep. the uh, the board of people. There's a woman <laughs> running it. It's a majority she, of women. Yeah. And she and she mm -hmm. takes the lead on every. And you say shit goes, goes wrong with, with women in charge. Interesting. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, See, I, I mean, I, I'm not saying yeah. it, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even remember seeing that. Like, that's man. I, I, it's there. The entire I, board is women. Oh. Yeah, so uh, yeah. It's, it's matriarchal. So I'm just saying that because it kind of is always in the background, you know. Uh, yeah. And 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 Joanna Cassie's character at the end says it was all my fault. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Also, not to mention like the, the <laughs> this lead woman I can't remember her name. Uh, Natasha Hendrick. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna the, the character's name. Uh, she pretty much comes out of this whole situation with like a like a cut on her neck. That's it. Like yeah. 
totally unscathed where everybody else, uh, maybe, maybe except for the Ice Cube's character. Uh, I mean, she got punched in the nose and knocked out that way. That that nose would be broken. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, then she'd be the bearer of bad news. Well, and then there, there's <laughs> there's the scene. There's the scene where. Uh, they're getting locked up, like her and Ice Cube. Uh, I don't know if Ice Cube is, but they meet up with those people who then go to lock her in the the cell, and then all she does is take one step to the left or right, and then shuts the door on them. Like <laughs> it's like you guys, oh, you guys it was so hokey. It was so hokey. <laughs> so I, that, that's what I loved about it. How hokey this was. I mean, it just it, it reminded me of like a cross between. Uh, um, oh, oh gosh. Uh, Oh, your mic just went all funky there. Uh, it might be uh, he might be lagging. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's doing that. But no, it reminded me a little bit of like uh, um, Mad Max with a little bit of Warriors in there. Um, you know, just because that. that well, time he period. definitely borrowed from himself too, for sure. Yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. And, and to uh, finish setting it, setting you up because uh, you know I kind I didn't mention the biggest part about this. There's a red mist that takes over people's bodies. That came it's, from the mines, right? That came from the, but it is mentioned twice by the same character. It, the first time the character says, "Oh, there are organisms in the desert that come out when it rains." Yeah. But then yeah, when yeah. It, when it evaporates, they go hide underground. And then, fifteen twenty five minutes later, she comes out and says, "It was me. I was there. We we found something in a mine in the rock, and that released the mist." Like same character gives two different reasons why this stuff is going around. Not to mention, I don't think it rained once in that entire movie. I, I, God, it's, it's yeah. all one night, and it's just so frustrating. Uh, it's always dark out. Um, um, the and then when they have suspenseful scenes in the film, they're overly lit. Um, God, there were so many things wrong with this movie. I and, don't and understand then, not how to it's mention John is Carpenter. that like every Natasha Hentridge movie, you know, she shows some 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 chichi man. Nothing, nothing in this movie. <laughs> well, it's because this was a feminist text. This was a feminist uh, film, so they're not gonna do that. Uh, but they did have her 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 changing, so that was their their one that was kind of like the her Ripley moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That weren't scene where she gets out of bed and gets right. dressed or whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wasn't that at the very end of the movie. It was I think correct. it was towards the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Correct, correct, correct. And Tom hasn't seen the movie, so he's uh, he's taking the knee on this one. <laughs> That's like, okay, Tom. Come on in, anyways. Uh, we'll well, ta- we'll no, take he, the said, he says for you. he. I think he says, "Oh, I haven't seen Ghost in years," so I'm assuming he's right. seen it, but long. Oh, he time saw ago. it like a long time ago, like me, yeah. and I had to watch it again. Oh, I didn't want to get into. Well, it. here's the funny thing is that <laughs> I I was telling my I was telling my girlfriend like I saw this movie in the theater. And it was like really bad, but it was really good, but it was awful. <laughs> I, that's exactly where I'm at with it right now. I thought that there were some really great things about this movie. I love the practical effects. There's nothing like getting a saw blade thrown at you and then your arm just coming right off. Like oh, yeah, what was some of those that? deaths severed. were awesome. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I, I also like the carotene uh, blade to the throat. That was really well done. Uh, that was practical. They actually have the object thrown, hits his neck, and then he splits yeah, 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 on his yeah. neck, and I'm like, "Oh shit, that was cool." I remember the uh, one where the, I think the guy's standing in the doorway. He's got the gun. He's fired, and all of a sudden, like <laughs> the the arm. saw blade chops his arm off, and he's like, "What the hell?" And then he just turns around, and starts firing like right, nothing was, did happen. Yeah, it was very <laughs> Monty Python. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah, he he just suddenly became very, Animal Mother from uh, <laughs> uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, and and keep in mind, one. people are throwing these with their hands. They're yeah. just saw blades. Throw. It's not like a saw blade gun where there's power. <laughs> yeah, you're, somebody's doing right. a frisbee throw at you, right. and it takes off heads. And then there's one though, like you know, like you see them flash, and then you see like, like they're like ducking, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then a second later, she fucking gets it, man. <laughs> yeah, and, like, that was the, yeah, ahead, some bro. of the death scenes. Like I, there's one I think where they're running away as the stuff's being thrown at him, and it looks like the guy instead of like falling to the ground, he like lays on the ground because he got hit or something. It's like oh. he. he yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and yeah. Then, then there's another thing too. You just reminded me of it. That it's like uh, where she's giving an explanation, or someone's giving an explanation, <laughs> and they cut off faces and wear them. But what right. do they do? They cut to all the heads on on post, and it's like, what? 
that yeah. it, nobody actually wears the faces. No, I didn't see that in the. What are you uh, fucking talking about? No, they showed. I, I, they showed there, the are there are two. There are two, but it was yeah, but, like you know, uh, which, so in the which, background. So I have a question for you guys on that because George, uh, what's his name, Greg Nicotero? Yeah, uh, did all the work, right? And he and he runs the, the practical effects, and it were great. Yeah, yep. it was one so, of the best things about it. That uh, yeah, but my question is, is that he's so connected and runs uh, Walking Dead now. Was were the whispers? Was that was that from? Does anyone know if that was like a nod to this movie, the whispers, or was that in the comic book? It's or, in the it's comic, like comic book. The book whispers, yeah. Okay. yeah, and it could be a nod from Kirkman to Carpenter. I don't know. But the whispers is from the comic. Oh yeah, maybe Kirkman did do 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 the not. I don't know. I that, I, I got a lot of that, especially since uh, Nicotero is in it. Maybe you know uh, that stuff all looked great, man. Yes, yeah. Sol, yes, Sol Assassin. Jason Statham was in this one too. A younger Jason Statham. But he, he didn't shave his head. He actually surprisingly had a, a good cast. Honestly, like uh, they're they had great the cast. The, they're the they had a great cast. The just faculty. terrible writing and. Um, there was some stilted acting in it too, because I, I don't know why, that where people sounded like they were reading lines instead of saying them. Well, but they the probably lead, were. The, Natasha's not much of a lead. She's very stilted. She was in yeah. that 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 really like kind of made, made it jokey, you know. But um, with with Duval with Clea, you always believe her. She's always real, and she had a smaller role. And I mean, the cast was great. Joanna Cassidy. She's Stay amazing. Them. And they I know, know her personally, and, and she knows I'm, I'm a fan of all her work. Who's that, Cassidy? Yeah, Joanna. Oh, she's, she's great. You know, um, and uh, Stay Them, and um, who are the other ones uh, that were there? There's a, the, uh, the other girl. Ice who, Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube. <laughs> well, I'll get to Ice Cube in a second. <laughs> we can get to the Cube in a second, but go on. No, I'll just say there was that girl for, that was in the movie The Faculty, which I really enjoyed. One of those, that's, like, that's yeah. Clea. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked her. Yeah, she Who's, was, she was uh, fun. Robert's granddaughter, correct? No, I don't think she's related. I don't think so. I heard she was. I just got that info. But mm. w- one thing right. I think we need to mention: whoever was the editor I'll on this film quick. should oh, look be at this. like exercised from Separate from cool. ever editing a movie again. That that thing was <laughs> so poorly edited. Um, yes, yeah, we heard. Come and get the card. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know what you guys were thought about it, but all those different cuts going back and forth with the overlays, it was, it was confusing. It, it was, to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Tom was saying this wasn't this reshot to hell. I mean, yeah, she's almost, no relation to Robert Duvall. Okay, it almost it almost seemed like it was the opposite. <laughs> um. I don't know. I I wouldn't be surprised because, um, Mm -hmm. you know, the problem with a lot of Carpenter's uh, later work after the 80s was um, uh, really losing Dean Kundi because he was the best DP he ever worked with. Did he work on the vampires? uh, No. Uh, He stopped working with him after the 80s. Uh, And it was Gary B. Kibbe is the guy who worked on, I think, two films in the 80s and then the rest of the shit through the 90s. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kundi went on to work on Spielberg movies and stuff like that, but, you know, big name mm-hmm. films. Yeah, which is which is sad because the movies he did with Carpenter were, were the best shot films, and he mm-hmm. knows how to light a scene. I don't think Kibby knows how to light a scene. He overlights like crazy. Well, the set looked horrible. The town looked looked it looked terrible. Like terrible. It looked it, so plastic. There was no depth looked, to it. Right. Um, it looked like right. it was on a movie set, and it was actually it's, shot outside. It was nah, shot in, uh, wait, that was yeah. it was shot outside. I, yeah. I thought that was indoors. No, no nah. it was shot on, on our Indian oh. reservation. Yeah. Oh my god, that makes yeah. it even so worse. Bad. That makes it worse. And I blame all of that on Gary B. Kibbe. I also don't like uh, some of Carpenter's direction in it, uh, but that could have also, like Tom said, there. I, I think I recall something about reshots. Mm. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of this stuff was ruined in the reshoot. Well, to like but, further what Yeti would cast was saying, like mm-hmm. just based upon how this video or this movie was edited, yeah, it, it seems like there might have been a hell of a lot of reshoots going on there. And like kind of like how they did with um was it Rise of Palpatine, where they just kind of took footage and, and cut it together, reshot a bunch of stuff, cut it oh, into man. what they already had. It kind kind of get that feeling with it. Come on, do you yeah. know you know Look at listen. I'll watch Ghost of Mars any day. <laughs> <laughs> Palpatine. 
You know, um, I'm just I'm just saying in that in that style, like it looked like they had some, right. some uh, re- uh, older footage that they cut it with maybe newer footage, and yeah, it, it's definitely not a good edited flick. Uh, but good thing there's a well, lot of Well, yeah, there's in it. way too many wide shots where they should have been more intensely cut close. The assault on the train was just fucking goofy. Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, but when they do a close-up shot, they end up standing there, overlaying with other things. There's like three different overlays going on between the different close-ups, so you don't get mm-hmm. to see it. It's there's so <laughs> much of it that just felt like Carpenter was phoning it in. So the the guy to the right, that's the guy Ords was talking about, where he's like outside the bunker shooting, and then they <laughs> splice up his arm and he keeps shooting. Yeah, he like looks at it like, hate that oh, character. that's not that bad, and he starts shooting again. Now, I, w- I wanted to bring Ooh. something up because I made a note of it, is okay. at the 16 minute, 46, and se- 46 second mark in the film, that guy comes around a corner on Henstridge and Statham. And Carpenter broke his own fucking rule about um, jump starts in film, that you don't add a jump sound to it if it's not the bad guy. That is a rule he established and made. he spoke about it at length. That you just don't do that because it's a false uh, start, and it gives you the wrong idea that that might be the bad guy. Well, for, and they did right. that with him at the sixteen forty six gotcha. mark. He comes around a corner on those two, and they do the wow sound, and it's like, oh man, Carpenter, Jesus. Uh, oh, yeah. y- you might not be wrong, Tom. Uh, Tom, I don't know why you're not in here just throwing shit out for us. Um, but anyways, you have the link. I'm just um, tired. I don't want to talk with <laughs> fuckers. You know, yeah, radio. Tom, get this your butt in radio. here. I, I get your butt. I have to go in a little bit, so you have to take over all this uh, this goodness here. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's all now, set speaking up. Of, speaking of music, what, what what was up with that rock and oh. roll? soundtrack every time they fuck. i loved it i loved it did I you loved it. oh man i loved no. it so Orange, much it i so think bad. you're one of about so 200 bad. people that like that <laughs> it was so bad okay I yeah they, they, they mean, could have like made it, rock like... sorry go ahead Polly. Go no ahead. no go ahead bro go ahead i okay I, all i was gonna say is they could have made rock work but those songs that they chose for those scenes did nothing <laughs> for it <laughs> again again i'm gonna yeah. say this um oh. carpenter fucking phoned it in on writing the, the music for this film he just uh, it, there's no actual tangible yeah. theme um None. it's just wabba, wabba, bubba, wabba. there's the train wabba. it's just that's what he that's does a bad train they should have he- that should have been such cooler Thing. That's it's like, like I would have loved to do the music for this movie. That would have been awesome. <laughs> it would have been the here. same thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you could have you could probably get get the the reel from this and end up editing it yourself and yeah. do a much better job. Because you, you don't one, you don't start it from telling the story at you know the courtroom where they're uh-huh. asking your yeah. questions. Well, you're falling into the, that category of flashback. Yeah, and there were so many flashbacks. Are <laughs> flashbacks are hard to do for something and for a movie that was so dumb. Gary, Gary it, there were so many f- uh, flashbacks. Yeah, it's just what the what fuck is with all the flashbacks? <laughs> I hate that. It's it it's uh, convoluting the story even further. Um, and flashbacks with you have people. poorly defined villains in the film. I wrote <laughs> notes. I wrote notes for you. <laughs> no man, Characters please. Were too cavalier for please. given environment and situation. There's a jump scare at 1646. We've gone over. Mm-hmm. I hated the production design. Uh, the mm-hmm. writing was really stiff and kind of goofy, where dialogue had no believable flow to it. I mean, the script didn't seem to oh, even know what kind of film it was doing. Well, like, stay right there. Stop right there, because that's a good. That's a great point. Because even good actors can't make that shit work. And you yeah, had some yeah. really good actors in this movie. And it, yeah. that's just it. It, it. The dialogue comes off like they're reading it right off the script, and instead of feeling it and saying it naturally. Um, some of the acting was awful in the film, but not all of it. There was a lot of good acting, too. But, yeah. man, so much dialogue well, was delivered was bad. like it was being read yeah. right off the script, which is a huge no-no in filmmaking. Uh, I have two more points that I made. The film's overall look felt like it was shot on a set, and a movie should never feel like it's taking place on a movie set. Uh, and then last, I said Gary Kibbe is nowhere near as good a director of photography as Dean Kundi, uh, mm-hmm. especially when it comes to lighting his sets. Uh, just he was terrible in this film. 
Can I commentate there, on this picture real quick? Like, I, there yeah. may be like one or two other scenes in this movie that his face looks different than that, but pretty <laughs> much every scene that is the face he has. It doesn't really change. It doesn't change. He's always looks angry, slightly. Oh, I thought he was less constipated. angry. Always angry, <laughs> very angry. There's he doesn't well, have a face past anger. And this is right. the best he'll look in the movie because most of the film he's got a he's got a cut off shirt and I think it's a turtleneck. So like they're trying to show off his arms and he's got no fucking definition in his arms. No, he he's looks got, like a chubby motherfucker. Is, it, is this when he comes back to like break her out? Is that I don't know at the end there? <laughs> yeah, no, he's got, he's got, well, no, yeah. He's got the yeah, silver. Remember they the got the so he's got the, the chrome. oh that's right that's right those chrome things are pretty cool. That um, was that was a kind of cool like yeah that was yeah. a wicked looking design for a gun. I'm not gonna lie. Well, um, I gotta tell you there was so yeah. much cool shit in this film yep. that didn't get showcased properly because of piss poor photography. Oh, yeah. and there was one. There was one thing when this movie got brought up that script doctor mentioned, and he was saying it was supposed to be a comedy when Carpenter was going into it. Really? really? Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> what happened? What I, happened? I know that. That's I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom, yeah. if you're not going to join us, then start doing your research, and you need to do an entire episode about what the fuck went wrong See, look, the <laughs> ghost of mars you can't tell but there there's his uh cut off and then he's got chubby the arms they're, they're chubby like mine <laughs> then we should just and get money got... to redo this movie there you go <laughs> well that's just it i have a rule that if you're going to remake a film remake a film that was done badly the first time yes 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 yes, yes. yeah this one probably yeah. could you could probably go with the idea and and make something in there and that's just uh, my, my thing keith says that too on my show we're partners and we we are always uh, akimbo on, on these subjects. It's funny how we never disagree. That's actually a really good idea because, you know, it's got, it already has that matriarchal stuff that, that's hot right now. Mm. Uh, and you could definitely get better actors. Uh, no flashbacks, little... better actors. No flashbacks. Mm -hmm. And make it just basically um, uh, Precinct 13 on Mars uh, yeah, yeah. and The Thing all rolled into one. Right, and Although, then really define really define the uh, the ancient uh, ghosts, the ancient creatures, yeah. and the monsters yeah. that are in this. That would probably say. help them discover stuff as they go along, and then yeah, exactly because the this the film movie. just fumbles along like, well, there's a cloud, <laughs> yeah, and well, it's red. Well, I mean, like literally, the 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 difference between like getting to know these bad guys or, or coming to a realization that it is, it's literally Jason Statham walks uh, crawls up the go hill, sees these, these people. Uh, uh, sees yeah. these people and then that's that. Yeah. He's like, uh, can you be less angry? <laughs> 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 try to try to deliver it funny. Actually, yeah. that last shot you had up there where there was like uh, fa face on with uh, Ice Cube there, I actually really liked that shot. That was kind of cool. Which one? No, the photography. Yeah. Well, I yeah, think this, this is like still photography. That's really good. <laughs> still yeah. photography looks better than yeah, the, like, better the than cinematography. The movie. I think it might have been the one before this, Polly. Oh, okay. Can... Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one. That's the yeah, shot. I actually really, good really like that shot. I don't even like that in the was, movie. No, that's definitely not in the movie. It's not in the movie. But that's As you like just when see his they, that's when they go pick him up, and he's supposed to be this dangerous yeah. guy, and it's like, oh, it's Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of lighting would have been so much better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. that looks dark, scary. And Statham wasn't he, he Statham menacing. just yet, guys. Just so you know, Statham was not Statham just yet. Oh, but he was still capable of doing those fights. He just wasn't being utilized in that way yet right i'm just yeah, saying and when she's good. on the train and gets separated from um uh what's his name uh, ice yeah. she's like turns around there's somebody there and it cuts, <laughs> right it cuts to the area behind her all <laughs> brightly lit lit from the floor lit from above lit from all the corners it's like does nobody know how to do suspense anymore with lighting so so and then he goes out like a punk man like he gets a guy like kind of gets zombie zombie eaten <laughs> Yeah, Statham. Yeah, Statham he, totally has a worse death. He's getting stabbed to death by these things. He might have been my favorite character in this, just because I think he was the more most consistent. He might have been. It might have been the best acted character, uh, and I think he had like the biggest, uh, uh, the man. biggest out. I you know, totally like, want to go to bed with you, Na Natasha. I will yeah. fuck you. <laughs> But you know what I mean, like, and, and then yeah. he had he probably met the, the the strongest end, you know, like. Okay, so with this, oh, Geekosity's his... in the house. Hey guys, Geekosity's in the house. Yo, what's up, Geekosity? Hey, Geekosity. Uh, I'm gonna put money that that's my buddy James. Hi, James. Let's say hello to a couple people real quick. Uh, Kitty's here. Hey, Kitty. Uh, and of course, uh, the great Soul Assassin. 
been you know hanging out with us since we started. Uh, Ghost on Mars twenty twenty two, starring Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, dude! Shut so the fuck up. Do we not Don't. put those ideas into the ether? That please? is such Fucking a. Why hilarious. would you do that? Why? That is hilarious. Uh, Lord Thoth. So it was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I liked it. I, I, this is a movie I would probably watch maybe yeah. once a year just for like shits and giggles. Well, <laughs> you know what, what I mean? But that's what I'm trying to tell you is that I saw this in the theater like 20 years ago. Like I you did know, too. I I went to the movies uh, every weekend, even more. Mm-hmm. Uh, back in the day and i remember this just being you know because you know who's not a carpenter fan um but that makes sense what you say uh uh, gary because you know at a certain point his films uh stopped uh mouth of madness aging well those uh, movies don't age well the vampires was an okay film i his love last great vampires. film was mouth of Ma- uh, uh mouth of madness or i yeah, had such a fun madness. time with because to me vampires had a lot of fucking humor in it oh my god well it it, it was also played by guys that knew how to do comedy and deliver right. lines right you know i right. mean that la- james see, now wood, i want to go you don't see get better than james woods well, I own it. I, I will pop it in every once yeah. in a while. It's not one of my favorite yeah. Carpenter films, but I do enjoy the yeah. shit out of it. And that uh, young actor that plays the priest is so funny when he says, I think I got a little mahogany there. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to ask Yeti, what, what was your favorite part about this movie, Yeti? If you had to pick. Oh, all the nipple clamps. Thanks, Kikas. <laughs> nipple clamps? Nipple cl- that was- <laughs> Of course Yeti would say that. Hey, real, real quick, guys, real quick. Uh, Kikasi, thanks for coming by. Please, uh, if you're not subscribed to me yet and to all these fine gentlemen, please do so. A- everybody, subscribe to everyone. How about that? Yeah, and Geekosity, let me tell you, uh, Mikey Sutton is a good close friend. James as well, who's the one that's chatting right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mikey is one of uh, Keith's and my closest friends. James is a friend of mine. Uh, I keep Uh him away from Keith. It's like, you're my friend. Stop being friends with everybody. (laughs) Diablo Dame. Hey, Diablo Dame. Go on. Great scoop site. Great entertainment news site. Just amazing. Uh, You will not find a better scoop guy than Mikey Sutton. He's very accurate. 35 years in the industry. He's not Hello. one of these right. YouTube rising stars. This guy has been around, knows his, knows the business, is very connected. Nice. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, there's, you know, I think, I think what makes a good host, uh, and that's we're going off off topic, but it's to know their strengths and their weaknesses, and right. uh, bring in people that uh, know what the hell they're talking about. Like, me. amen. Like, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about in certain areas, and I love bringing people in that that do. When he, that's... you know, when he, when he, it, it gets to the. To Latino music and Latino film, that's my area. Yeah, speaking <laughs> you know? of, speaking of, what a phenomenal show you had the other day, dude. That was great to come in and, oh. and see the music and watch everyone. That was beautiful, man. I just gotta say. Dude, man, to see you in the in the chat, that that filled my heart. I mean, good man. We that's awesome. we, we raised about four hundred bucks, which is oh, which is nice. awesome. Nice. For uh and we had some guys, if you haven't seen it, please hit the replay because I think I'm gonna clip those songs though. And make them a little I, separate. Yeah, it was it was cool, man, to just pop yeah. on and like it was something mm-hmm. so different. And I think something that this community uh, definitely needs. Nobody talks about music enough in this community, and and, and yeah. having like actual like artists on, man, that was just phenomenal, dude. That was great. That was a good. And hang. you know, I don't know if you got to you know you know Beto, the guy with the long hair that just was sitting by himself. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. he has a band called uh, Brown Sabbath. Okay, and they're Latinos that just do a uh, Black Sabbath. Uh, nice. oh, 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 wait, I've <laughs> heard awesome. them. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. I'll have to check that out. Oh, That's dude, awesome. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the mute. The, so the 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 panel that I have there are like you know purveyors of just badass Latino music, man. And then Nina Diaz. Oh, anyway, she killed it, dude. She killed it. I'm so glad you saw it, bro. It I'm so like, glad you saw it, bro. It, it honestly it like got my creative, uh, you know, uh, juices yeah. flowing, and I'm like. That, that's we need more of that we need more well of that. i'm just happy and i and i and i'm super excited that you're here finally on the show oh, yes man. thank you i'm sorry that i was late and i am gonna no, have to no, dip no. out here in a minute but that's uh, okay that's all right so much stuff but yeah i want to do more of this um in and, and, and come april 2nd i know some people know what's going on in my life but i will have so much more time in okay. april 2nd so uh all out we're we're gonna build the channel come april 2nd we're, we've got uh working on a board game with some friends Things are happening, man. It's all popping off. And uh, this right here, uh, Latino Slant, the fastest growing channel on YouTube, no doubt. Oh. No doubt. 
So if you guys are Ow. not subscribed here, you better Lord. click now because you don't. You when you're you know when there's 150,000 subscribers here on this channel, you want to say that you were here at a thousand. That's what you want to say. <laughs> that was very nice. Are you had you popping out right now? Or you still got a minute? Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll cut it off here. I guess. Yeah, I gotta get ready yeah, let's, for. Let's get you pictures. solo. Oh, Go you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Thank you uh, so much, Polly, for uh, having me on the show. Uh, definitely love the channel, man. I've seen the growth. It's been huge. Uh, don't ever stop. But if you guys if you guys want to come check me out, I do uh, pop culture commentary during the week. Uh, I do video game streams on the weekend. We have a lot of fun on Friday nights uh, after your favorite Friday night show. Uh, you guys can find me here in the boardroom at 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time every Friday uh, where we're doing Mario Kart streams. It, it is chaos uh, in a nutshell, to say the least. It's fun. People yelling at each other. It's ruined friendships. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, come <laughs> hang out. Um, Sunday nights, we do more serious gaming. Uh, where whether like they were doing a first person shooter called Generation Zero right now, we're uh, shooting uh, robots in uh, 1989 in the Swedish countryside. It's a lot of fun, man. But uh, just come hang out. It's a place where you can come, be yourself, and enjoy your life. Uh, thank you guys for having me, man. Yeti, uh, another great channel, man. Go check his channel out. I nothing but respect for Yeti, man. He's been plugging away. Um, you guys are all amazing. So thank you so much for letting me be here. And I've probably talked way too long. No, so no, it, it, nothing on a uh, culture casino level. And we oh. really appreciate you. <laughs> no, cool. Horace is the best. If anyone here isn't subscribed to him, you really need to go <sighs> watch him when he plays Mario Kart and comes. We in need last. to get him on a, our Friday <laughs> show. <laughs> Please, After yeah. April 1st, he'll be a lot freer. Yes, I will be free. I mean, April 2nd, that Friday is a Friday. <sighs> I, I don't know if I'll do Friday night or Friday night that night because I'm I'm gonna be drinking all day and celebrating, nice. um, but we'll we'll see we'll see man we're we're gonna live life uh uh like like it's our last every day is gonna li we're gonna live it like it's our last every day, and we're gonna build something beautiful and we're gonna do it together which is amazing all of us you guys yep. this chat I can't wait man. Orale. All right, there he is. We'll see Mr. you soon. Mr. Trunk. Th thank you guys so much. Peace uh, you, bro. I don't know where to find weekend. me. Y'all want to chat? Hit me up the DMs, all that, you know. Love you guys. Peace. Ciao. Peace. See ya. Oh, that was that was cool, man. That was cool. Uh, all right. So I think we left off, Gary, at Yeti's nipple ring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what? How has that not been brought up in this? Like every character has their shirt off, and there's these like big barbed wires going through all their nipples it is it is weird like oh yeah. there's a little bit right there well, you got to remember can, in well, the late 90s early 2000s when that culture that where they big. hang yeah when they hang by that shit was yeah. just coming out and being known and so they threw that right in there it was yeah it's meta for you, the time you could, yeah you could see the one uh on the bottom right there, there's a little <laughs> clampage. Stop. I got a nipple. Look at, this. Look, look at me. Oh These are so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it, the concept was cool, but it's just so badly. Yeah, you're right, man. Oh. And uh, I, I'm trying to find... <laughs> this is when that they whole have scene. The... That whole scene was like so like... like um, decide whether you want to be scary yeah. or if you just want to have an air of weird. <laughs> And they couldn't they couldn't make up no, their mind. Yeah. Or or an air of comedy. Because it was almost comedic, some of the yeah. shit. You know, just, like you know. Um that's funny, man. That's funny. well yeah, then the lighting and the tone is all wrong. The Again, music would mm, every wrong scene that. in that film was badly mm. lit. I can't believe that was shot outside. Yeah. So, seriously. Yeah, I d I'm surprised you didn't know. And here's how they uh, got the hills to look so red is they were lit. From behind the buildings with red filters, gel. Stupid. And uh, and uh, the whole deciding to shoot it at night was dumb because uh, we needed daytime for more. Uh, it just God, it just everything in this film just didn't work. Yeah. It's a fun film in a way, but it just didn't work. It, it failed. It flopped on its face. And now I'm going to tell you how I lost a friend over this fucking thing. Let's do it. Oh yeah, uh, this guy is. Uh, I always tell people, don't say things like, hey, you want to hear something funny and then tell me something that's not fucking funny. That's a rule of mine. It better fucking make me laugh or I might uh, 
you know, punish you by blocking you for a while. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, it's like, don't waste my time. So this guy goes, dude, I totally went back and watched this movie, man. And it was the second time seeing it was like so much better. I hated it when it came out, but when I watched it, you got to do it. So this is back in 2015. So I'm like, all right. All right. It's been a while. I'll go watch the movie. Okay. So I went and I bought a copy. I still own it. And oh. um, I play it that night. And then I got on Facebook at about three o'clock in the morning. I said, um, you're a fucking idiot. Don't <laughs> ever recommend another film. And I blocked him for, uh, I think, about three months before I finally let him be a friend of mine again. <laughs> Over this movie? Over doing that, yeah. Um, I, that irritated me so fucking much yeah. because I can't get those two hours back. And when I watched it uh, this morning. Man, you're hardcore, bro. Um, dude, dude, don't I'm be mad at old. me. I'm don't getting mad old. At me. I'm a lot older than I look. Yeah, and you look I'm good, like, bro. You look really good. I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I've got a lot less time, <laughs> and I want to use it wisely. I don't want to be watching shitty amen. movies. No, amen, amen. So brother. when my amen. friends expect me to watch a shitty movie with them, Yeti, um, <laughs> I expect them to understand that I'm going to be a snarky fucking asshole about <laughs> while I'm watching it, and I am. <laughs> well, listen, listen. That being said, then let me take half the blame because that's the point of the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we, it really is. We to find the, these movies and it's like, okay, so this is how we rate them, right? Oh, you know what? Before we do that, Yeti, we did get a tip. Oh yes, I was. And <laughs> I want to play. Uh, this is for this is for you, Uriel. Yeah. Eso. Ah, that's Eso. a great movie, man. That is a great movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so thank you, Uriel. Uh, it's nice when your cousin gives you $2, even though I think I owe him money. <laughs> 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 I love you, dude. I love you. You know, it's like, you, you know, you have trusty wrenches when, when they're your, your cousin's man. You know, he's, <laughs> he's a great that. cousin. He's a great oh, cousin. Oh, speaking of cousins, uh, poor uh, t shirted his cousin, uh, he got me into a conversation with his cousin. I kind of ripped his cousin apart on YouTube or Facebook. I was not nice to him at all. I don't see T-shirted. I think he left. Oh, man. I fucking love that guy. He, We've invited him into our little clan. And, no uh, more sleep. He's, uh, hey, no more sleep. I don't know. Uh, you are new to the, sh to, the, to, the, to the streams and the channel. Thank you for being here. Oh, Perry. Sander, ole. What's ole. Up? Ole. A parroted head above him. Um, yeah, yeah. My team. Oh, he's talking about that video oh, of, of Stevens that got pulled down today. Oh, he had oh, a video he, What? Down. He had a video pulled down? Yeah, it was that uh, Sequest 2021 stuff he was doing, and it got pulled. Oh, okay. so yeah. it finally... It, that was the one he uploaded previously. It, I, well, apparently he did it live this morning. I was asleep. I, oh, okay. I, I woke up after it had already gone on, so I missed it. But then I saw his post on Twitter, and... Yeah, he keeps – he's testing. What he's doing yeah. is he's trying to figure out what works as far as showing video that won't get you yanked yeah. by YouTube. Yeah, he, need, he needs to watch it, though, definitely. Yeah, he can get shut down eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, is it worth it? Because he's, he's really starting to kick in the channel, the hours, the subs. So Yeah. Um, okay, so um, <laughs> let's – so we got a rating system here, Gary, and I think I already know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got these two movies. One movie to to what? What's the what's, uh, Yeti? You say <laughs> which movie would you willingly watch again, and which one would you use to lose friends by? Which one would you force your friend to lose him? <laughs> that face. <laughs> mm. That's um, a tough one because it's the same for him. It's you know? there. There. Well, I got to tell you. Uh, Monster Hunter is just really not a very good film at all. There's mm -hmm. nothing of merit to me outside of um, Tony Jaw being in the film mm -hmm. and some of the effects. So I would gladly throw that under the bus. Um, but Ghost, uh, Ghosts of Mars, there's something still to it. It's John Carpenter, and you can see hints of Carpenter in it. 
And so I would definitely uh, let that one stay as a watchable. Uh, Monster Hunter is one to lose friends over. Um, as far as stars go, I, I do a potato. I do couch potato reviews. Been doing it since mm -hmm. 1995. And both those films got about two and a half to three potatoes. Out of? Five. That high, huh? Okay. Uh, four is high. Four is high. Four is high. When I get you down to two and a half to just about three, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, in the chat as well, sound off as far as on these two films. If you've seen them, you have to see both films, obviously. Uh, Yeti. Okay. Man, I hated both of these. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I, think, I think I could still have a bit more fun watching monster hunter mm -hmm. you know but you know there, there's a question is what could you do could you go into the editing bay and bring out something that wouldn't look so bad i, I think there would be more you could do with go save Mars. the film in the edit <laughs> yeah you might be able to do that but what was filmed in monster hunter it doesn't make much sense in order to get the plot going. You would have to rework story and use some of those pieces, mm -hmm. but I'd still rather watch the monster monster hunter thing because it, there's stupid, ridiculous action and, you know, big monsters and, and this, the ghost of Mars, the dialogue is painful. The music's bad. So mm -hmm. that's the one I'd, I'd, and I'm a sure. big fan of Carpenter's music, uh, and it really is not very good. Yeah. So that's that's what I'd use to lose friends by. What about you, Polly? Okay, so I will, uh, if I had to watch another one, it's definitely Ghost Hunter and Wishing, a uh, Ghost Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> like, what movie? Wait. <laughs> Monster, I know, right? Does it really matter? Monster Hunter. Um, I didn't find my, definitely compared to the other movie, I found some uh, some uh, scenes of enjoyment there. Ghost of Mars was just uh, a shit show, uh, and the fact that it was Carpenter makes me want to see a bit a real Carpenter film. Like I was just like, this is this is so stupid. This is so so bad. So if I had to, you know, to lose a friend over that's that's the one I would make someone. Maybe see. we should demand a Carpenter's cut of the film. Ooh. Oh. Which is also a play on words, Carpenter's Cut. Yeah. What 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 is it? What what do you if this what do you guys even silence? If he was forced yeah. into reshooting, uh as, like Tom was suggesting, maybe there's better footage out there that the studio didn't like that he Right. Did. Yeah. Release release the Carpenter Cut. Carpenter's um, Cut. <laughs> the the one the one issue would still have is all the lighting. So getting the tone, that would be mm -hmm. a big issue trying to you know, being in that editing bay uh you can't pick both it's you know not for the same i mean it, <laughs> I, I think it would be interesting if you, you actually pick one to lose a friend by and to have to see again but no they both have merits on both sides the <laughs> argument <laughs> <laughs> parrothead ghost of mars was enjoyable yeah I that's what i said no 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 no, it's no, bad, no. but still has carpenter -esque stuff. Uh, Pat S. Goes more just like this thing, except the story and the thing is a great movie. <laughs> except the story. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, Stephen on Pig Congo. <laughs> oh I remember my God. watching that when I was a kid, and I, I really liked it. <laughs> that, that's... Uh, carpenter Cut. Yeah, release the Carpenter Cut. Um, Sander, I think uh, I think I think I better watch Halloween three on Plex. That's more of a Carpenter film than Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, you know, guys, I think, uh, is there if there's anything you want to want to want to add? Please do or take away. Uh, no, I like. I don't think there's anything more for these movies, anyways. Mm -hmm. I know. What What about you, Gary? Uh, I think we uh, milked this baby dry. <laughs> no, yeah, and I, I, I dude, I, I really uh, appreciate you. Did you bring something up here, Gary? Uh, for when we do our outro, and I do my little outro. What thing. are they? What are they? So, um, let's uh, shift gears for a second, and uh, you know, showing you what a real uh, wonderful thing this community is. We're all in in mourning over the loss of yeah. Mark C. C. 
Yeah. And there's a couple of people that brought him up in, um, and I will just say real fast. I did not know the gentleman personally per se. Um, uh, but he spent a, he, he was very complimentary to the site, to, to myself. And, uh, he was a very good friend of clobbering times, which makes him a friend of mine. And, uh, my condolences to his family and to fandom friends that are mourning right now. If you guys amen. want to say anything. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just so sad to hear what happened. So, uh, you know, all, well, all he had put the warning out there. Out. Yeah. He had put that warning out that, mm -hmm. you know, with the cancer. And, uh, so I think I was less shocked, but it was still stunning to, to have it just mm -hmm. happen. So suddenly right after yeah. he had talked about it. So, yeah, I looked back and he said, like the beginning of February, that it was uh, non aggressive, that there was well, some good, good, good news. And that's just, um, I just remember having yeah. a few shows ago where, you know, we, we told him we're sending all, you know, all the good vibes to him. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're thinking about him. It, it just, that, that was only mm -hmm. like two weeks ago or, yeah, it, it was too soon. It was way too soon. And I, I feel, terrible for mm -hmm. his family and friends it, that's man um wendy we're sending out our love to you as well uh and thank you for for commenting thank you for being here um and we will try our best to well uh, yeah so god bless uh his, his, his family uh fandom friends that are mourning and uh you know what's great is that um there's something here every day for you guys to come and check out and there's and there's a great diversity of of opinion and thought and we're just all trying to get through this thing together uh this thing of life uh so yeah um let's go back pat s uh three monster hunter two polly's hat three ghosts of Mars. <laughs> oh wait oh wait he doesn't like my hat well, man. it might be the team Dude, what are you talking about? This team is wait. It might be because they're winners. They're champions. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm a huge baseball uh, Dodger fan. Uh, I got my uh, I got some bobbleheads up there. You can't see. I got a lot of Dodger paraphernalia, and I got the the Dodger uh, license plate. World champions. So this one I always tout because this is my college colors, Cal State LA, and they did a college. Dodger night that night. Anyways, this is it's this is my team. Oh, that's not that's not okay. Good, good. Well, I think we're all we're all uh, team. I've USA. got it on my arm. Orale, <laughs> orale, home. Let's start showing my. Let's start showing each other's tattoos. I got one on my dick. It it says "Eat it, Royce," but when I get hard, it, it's the entire Constitution. Yeti, thank you for uh, bringing uh, pop mine, <laughs> pop mine, caca, cock, whatever. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. That's the culture. Yeah. Uh, Wendy's a Cubs fan. Well, listen, you know what? I said my heart's with you a few minutes ago. It ain't now, you Cub fan. <laughs> Hockey is only true real sport. Uh uh, just got a Justin Turner bobblehead, the COVID positive edition. Hey, Eric, uh, be cool, man. Be cool. <laughs> a lot of hate he got because he went on the field for uh, when he uh, knew that uh, we still on the air. Yes, we are. I, why did are we still on the air? Yes, <laughs> yes, he kind of freaked hey, me out for a second. If you can, if you can hear us talking, we're still going. Yeah, um, cool. Well, I uh, think that we are done so let us uh let us know what you're what you're doing this weekend uh in the next couple days and all that good stuff uh mr gary oh don't put me to big screen screen me put me back down i like being down there with you guys all right yeah he likes going down i'm a tip <laughs> whoa <laughs> i'm gonna punch you right in your junk whoa the next time I see you. this is about um, real nasty at the end <laughs> we gotta uplift guys we gotta uplift yeah we um yeti and i are very good friends yeah. and um okay. we talk all, all right. the time we do shows together um we do a show with uh two shows with fat steven i'm sorry uh, script doctor <laughs> i'm sorry um and yeah, he's very he he drains my energy sometimes. <laughs> like um, that's three. Did you just name name off three Canadians? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then of course uh, Tom's on our show regularly because he and I are good friends behind the scenes. 
And um, basically, we do uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Art on Mondays. We do TGIF on our channel on Fridays at Pop mm -hmm. Culture Minefield. And then we do another one. What, what the? F I don't remember the other one we do. We do way too many shows together. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Wow, this is. Those well, are my favorite here. people to hang out with because they make sure. me laugh. Well, Gary, you can't tell them about our personal shows. Those are private. Yeah. <laughs> then there's the nipple clamp ones. I don't like those. Yeah. Um, the nipple show. I'm, uh, of course, Gary Sell. I'm a comic book artist, illustrator. I work in film, comics, and I do book covers, movie posters, all that shit. Um, you can find me online. If you know how to spell my name, it's G-E-R-R-Y. And then Cassell, misspell it, doesn't matter, you'll find me. Um, and of course, our channel, if you want to pop it up there, is uh, Pop Culture Minefield on YouTube. Oh, um, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, here we go. There we you are go, there we're you going, go. going pretty strong. We've got good viewership. Um, we're doing live streams this season. This is our third year doing the show. Um, we have a lot of great guests. Uh, our dais or panel. Uh, and I'd like to get you on there, Polly. Um, yeah. Because uh, what we do is we like to collect friends and just have them on the show and then talk like friends. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, we People tend to find it pretty entertaining. Uh, some of your uh, viewers are on our panel all the time, like Tickle Trunk. He's always on there. Tim is on there. Um, He's Polly. Great. I love Polly. Um, you know, it's just it's, it's a lot of fun to get on there with people and that know how to talk about things. And have an opinion. I love opinions, even if I don't agree with them. Mm. And I love, I dislike people who are, I don't know how I feel about that. It's like I, I divorced a woman once. No kidding. She couldn't, she had not a favorite color, a favorite movie, or a favorite song. <laughs> and I'm like, that's fucking weird. And I'm only <laughs> learning this now. And um, I moved out over the weekend when she went to Disney World and left the divorce papers on the door. And that's not a lie. It's what I did. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta man, do I, you I got do. my kid. I got my kid, and I'm like, "Where the hell out of here? This house is too fucking weird for me." <laughs> and uh, how can you go through life without a favorite anything? It's impossible. Like you love L.A. In fact, love my team. Play, if it were for getting a copyright strike, I'd say play that song. Mm, yeah. I love L.A. I love that song. Um, I'm a big L.A. fan too, by the way. Please subscribe to the Pop Culture Minefield YouTube. There it is. Thank you, Uriel. Oh, thank you, Uriel. Muchas gracias. And then we have this guy. Uh, well, he covered a couple of things. Uh, so on <laughs> on Monday. No, go ahead. Repeat yeah. it. They, they won't mind if you repeat it, Yeti. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, well, you forgot the time. And this week, it'll be Raiders hey, Yeti, Lost Art. Yeti, you can tell them the time. They can't hear I, you. I, oh, they can only hear I'm you. Gonna, you I'm going to get to it. D don't make me slap you. <laughs> uh, okay it's raiders of the lost art this monday on my channel at four pacific standard time so come over there and we have a lot of fun we riff back and forth make each make fun of each other and then talk pop culture and get serious it's it's a good mix of things and on tuesday it will be the comic book round table on clobbering times channel and there we're, we're going to pay some of our respects for for mark c um and then you know to, to help light in the movie we've got a couple other things planned you know to to uplift and just have a good time after after we share some of the things um and friday it will be i'll be on C pop culture minefields tgif show uh which i believe is it what? airs before friday night tights that's the big yes. thing yeah mm. Because we don't want to infringe on their time, and we also want to get Tom, Andre, and Rob on our show every once in a while. That's the only way. <laughs> Let's see. I've been putting out a couple short videos, so go check that out. The, the last one, I was roasting that Oprah interview with uh, Harry and Meghan, so I was just trying <laughs> something new. <laughs> so yeah. check that out. Um, and, and that's about it next week. Catch me here again with Latino slant as we go over some more terrible, terrible movies. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you, uh, Gary and, and the Ords board. And, uh, uh, I guess thank you. Yeti cast. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. Um, 
uh, Eric goes, so if I ever got to get out to LA, Polly, I'd love to go to Dodger game. I'll hit you up. Yes, and they're allowing people back in for this season. So that is the best part of the Dodger game. Badass, let's do a Dodger game together. Polly, you can point at the best hospital for us after we get beat up. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're with the, with, with the Chicano, so I have a ghetto pass. You will not get beaten up. Uh, I love going to baseball games in other cities. I did my league too. Yes, very cool. I think I need to do a uh, a uh, a baseball um, a baseball um, stream. Maybe not. All right. Uh, Polly needs to do Doomcock. His fans rock. I don't know what that means. Needs to do Doom. You need to do go on Doomcock show. Oh, go on his show. Oh, okay. All right. Do you like and, do you like I did it? Oh, off. when when <laughs> when hell freezes over. Yeah, we, we kind of set a rule that we do not want to touch that. I am not watching that movie again. Kiss I, my I ass, Woody Kiss my ass. <laughs> D-bags are D-bags. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All uh, right, Matt. Uh, that was fun. I don't know what movies are. What, what movies we have for next week. Uh, what were we thinking of? Who... There was there was a couple. I know somebody brought yeah. up Dragon Ball Evolution. People Ooh. keep asking for Congo. That's been in, in every single chat since well, we started. Then that's that's, that's like yelling at a band to play, uh, uh, you know, some sort of La like, Bamba. Yeah, La Bamba. <laughs> play La uh, Bamba. Play La Bamba, man. You're Mexican. Um, okay, those are good ones. I mean, then there's also like the, the M Night Shyamalama Ding Dongs movies we could do. Yeah, th there's. I've got a whole list here. Roller okay. ball and yeah, I've got. All right. I've got tons we can figure out. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we'll. And anytime uh, you guys ever want me on, I'll be glad to come back. This was fun. Yeah. yeah well, that's absolutely. the thing is that this is like a real fun, you know, uh, and it's it's great for me too because it's like, um, you know. Like we get real uh, film critics know that people know what they talk about, like you and Tom and Andre on. We're just like, you got to get Doc on here, <laughs> script doctor. He's like, he's yeah. a good friend. Yeah. He's on our shows, and he and I have Ooh. spent hours talking structure and story. Yeah, um, he's one of my favorite people. He already just, did the last Airbender. Yeah, we haven't done Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Freebird Parrot. That's the song. Thank you. Going Dodgeball. to, to yeah, asking a band to play Freebird. Right, Freebird. That's a good I got ball. I got knocked out at I was in a band I played drums and a guy kept yelling to play Freebird. Finally I I mm -hmm. sat down behind my kid after a break and and I said, "Hey, here you go. No charge." Gone Fishing, 1990 Pesci Glover, that. worst movie ever, apparently. And then The Turning. I mean, these are some good legit. I mean, I, I don't see what how Dodgeball falls in that. What is Dodgeball is a classic. No, Face Off. Face Off is a great film. What? Get yeah, out of no. here. What's the oh. turning? I don't remember that. I, I don't <laughs> like, remember it either. Like yelling at the, I'm yelling at the chat now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't really go. Um, <laughs> what'd you say? Dodgeball? No, The Turning. Like the I've turning. never heard of that film. The Turning. Which one is The Turning? The Turning. Oh, the, it's, it's is recent. That like a it looks like it. It's recent, uh, right? 2020. Who's in that? I think I saw I'm it. I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> we got to do a new old, new bad film. We definitely have to do a new release. It's oh, on Hulu, Horror Supernatural. The Turning. Oh, it's got that Finn Wolfhard that's in it. Okay. From Stranger Things. And Mackenzie. And oh. apparently Wendy loves the abuse. There you go, Yeti. Oh, where is it? Oh, where's her name? Mackenzie Davis. Oh, Oh, I know the film. It's awful. It's oh, awful. Okay, it's well, another that's... remake of The Turning of the Screw. It's a remake of The Innocents. Uh, well, The Innocents was a movie which is based on Tur the Turning of the Screw. Turning or the Taming of the, of the, of the Shrew? The turning, turn of the Screw. Turn of the Screw. <laughs> and it's a classic ghost story. And okay. It was, uh, it's been made several times. Several. And I the think the turning the might that might be uh we should do the turning next week. The turning is, yeah. is, a, is a bad yeah, scary film. Yeah, and, and it's new. There was another remake on Netflix mm -hmm. the same time. Really? Yeah, oh. there were two remakes in one year of the turning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these movies have to be awful, uh Udiel. It's awful. Perfect. Yeah. 
you know, so we got the turning, and then what would be a good connecting movie for that? You know, we got to find a, a good theme. You yeah. know, well, it's going to be a uh, horror, do a horror film and then a comedy. <laughs> uh, well, they said that that Gone Fishing with Pesci and Glover. I don't remember that being horrible. What about but... something with Yahoo Serious from like the eighties? Early nineties. Oh, see now everyone oh. is now everyone is just like sounding off here. Wait, I, I think an Uwe Bowl f- film, and mm-hmm. there's that. Let's see, here we go. Because there's Alone in the Dark, Blood Rain. Mm-hmm. Um, the you know those are those are kind of horror elements. Let's he's see. he's got his postal movies. Yeah, postal. Oh, Maximum yeah, Overdrive. Cool. That's a classic '80s movie. Not very good. Um, Stephen King, oh, House of the Dead. House of the Dead was really bad. Yeah, has a couple of good scenes in it, but yeah, it's really dumb. You know who's an expert at at, at scary movies is Mrs. Slant. I think. Uh, what do you What do you say, Chat? You, you, you think I should uh, invite her on to our Saturday show and let the boys? Uh, and she knows how to handle how to handle this guys. Um, that might be a lot of fun because she's very knowledgeable. Uh, with uh, like stuff like The Conjuring and all these all these films, you know, that might be fun. What do yeah. you what do you th- what do you say, Yeti? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like yeah, that sounds good. Um, no. I yeah, I'd be happy at that. I, I'm writing down some of these things because we have not touched Uwe Bowl. So, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, yeah, that would be oh. that'd be great. Bring her on. Uh, we're getting know. the we're getting the approval here. <clears throat> yeah, Mrs. Slant's pretty badass. She's She's got pretty smart, great opinions on um, films. Hey, Eric Joe Sullivan has a comment up above. Can you find it? it says so Barry Lyndon is out. Oh, Barry Lyndon is. Uh, oh, it's I, I want to comment on it because uh, yeah. I just talked on a show with Yeti uh, and Script mm-hmm. Doctor. We were talking about it, and I brought up Barry Lyndon mm-hmm. as one of those films that uh, inspired Ridley Scott to do The Duelist. <laughs> Which is do a what? great film, the movie The Duelist, 1977. And well, is Barry, it Barry isn't Lyndon? Barry Lyndon is, isn't Barry Lyndon Kubrick? Kubrick. Yeah. yeah, it's Kubrick. It's yeah. uh, it's Ryan O'Neill. Yeah, Ryan no, O'Neill. No, no, no. Yeah, it's Ryan. O'Neill. Albert Finney. Albert Finney's in it. No, you're thinking of another film. Think of another London uh, Kubrick film. Yeah. Um, okay. Barry Lyndon is one with uh, Ryan O'Neill. It's three hours long. And right. It, the story is just so convoluted and it's mm-hmm. slow, it's sluggish, right. but it is visually beautiful to watch the lighting yes. in it. Yes. And and that's what inspired Ridley Scott when he made The Duelists was yeah. all the lighting in that. And if anything, that film should be appreciated for that alone. But Barry Lyndon is an amazing film. It's not a film to sit down and watch and go, you know, if you're just wanting to chill, I'll need to watch a film and just chill. Barry Lyndon is not that film. You have to be willing to put three hours in to watch that film. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We don't want to do that to our panelists. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. We had to cut down one movie because it's just too much. This is a good one because we like we like modern we like newer Nick Cage. Well, at least films. Wonderland. Yes, good. F- oh. I enjoyed the shit out of that movie. Well, I, when did it release? Nick like, Cage, not saying a damn line. He doesn't speak the whole movie. Right. It just it just came out. Oh damn! Yeah, I bought it on video on demand. I was like, "Yeah, I'm on it." Yeah. Um. All right. Well, we definitely got a lot of great choices here. I think I think the scary ones will definitely have to bring in a, uh, um, Romy, Mr. Slant, and uh, we'll have a ball on that. Maybe that's next week. Maybe not. Willie's Wonderland. I want to do. Um, cool, fun, and yeah. uh, Harry and the Hendersons. Oh God. <laughs> I haven't seen this since the 80s. Yeah. And Bandito wanted to say hello. Hi, hey, Boo Boo. There you go. Bandito got up on my lap. Uh, well, cool. All right, gents. I think uh, we are good to go. And uh, again, thank you guys so much. Nice meeting you, brother. It's nice meeting you too, man. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. I, I didn't come. <laughs> Everyone in the chat, <laughs> God bless. Have a great weekend. Oh, oh, we're we're doing a so we're doing a uh, last minute show tomorrow afternoon. Oh That'll yeah, that'll be up. Um, and then uh, the Latino slant on Tuesday is going to welcome um, 
one of the actors from uh, the Mr. Iglesias TV show. Uh, so uh, all that info is up on the channel, and uh, I'm looking forward to that conversation. But me and Yeti will be back tomorrow afternoon. Yes. All right. Paz y deligas, everyone. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Slam. Slam. Uh, Paul, let's go. Thank you.